everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do 2018 January readings for all Zodiac signs. Keep in mind, they are general, so if they don't resonate with you, reading's not for you. Maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. Love you guys. You rock. If anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. This reading is going to be for Scorpio. Let's see what's shaking. Oops. Okay. All right, Scorps. Wow. It's like being stuck between the past and the present. Hmm. Let's get into this one, Scorps. Bottom of the deck. One of my favorites. You have the chariot. This is moving forward, being victorious, successful. But Scorps, you only get this when those two sphinxes work together. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. When your head and your heart, or your hope and your fear, all that is on the same page, Scorpio, you go anywhere. Let's see how that applies here. That's Major Arcana, so let's have another one. Scorps, we're going to start off with the lovers. That intertwining of two souls. The, I get you. This is a connection like no other. This is also the card of Gemini. If you're dealing with a Gemini. The other side of this card is major life-changing decisions. And what's crossing to help or hinder. You have the eight of pentacles. And this is the apprenticeship card. This kid's got his nose to the grindstone. And he's trying to perfect every single pentacle as he makes it. Making it better than the last one. This could be learning a new trade, a new skill, going back to school, putting your all into it. Scopes, it could be working on yourself and trying to perfect yourself. Scorpio, maybe you're trying to move forward in a relationship and you're working on the things that kind of don't make your chariot go. Maybe you're trying to rein in these two sphinxes, okay, to get that victory and success that you want and you need. But this is not you know, something little. This is life-changing. Whether you are learning something new. Scorpio, maybe you put something on the back burner. You know, and now it's time to bring it forward. Maybe put your all into it. Maybe this thing that you've put aside for a while is where your true passion, where your true love is. It could be in a relationship that you want to succeed and move forward in because you are connected to someone. It's going to be, you don't give up. Never easily. And you don't surrender. So of course you would work harder to try to fix the things <clears throat> excuse me, that the imperfections to make them right. Yeah, it sounds like you, Scorpio. Now, in your foundation, <clears throat> excuse me, Scorps, you have the Nine of Swords. This is agony. This is thinking about something over and over again. You know, you lose sleep over it. 
Scorps nines are close to a ten. Close to ending these thoughts. These thoughts that haunt you. Because Scorps, I think you are ready to leap forward. I think you are ready for change. Absolutely. Because what's crowning your whole reading here is the Queen of Wands. Now here's your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. She's creative. She's passionate. She's motivated. She's driven. She gets things done. You never see them in one spot too long because they always have something to do. They're always achieving something. Creating something. Now, Scorpio, this could be a person, you know, that you want to move forward with. Put your all into a relationship. It could be your energy that you are exhorting because you want to move on something. You want to move forward. And you want to work on moving forward. Now, Scorps, in your recent past, you have the Empress. Queen of all queens here. Usually depicted as a Taurus or a Libra, but like the Emperor has the, you know, the zodiac signs all behind him. She's right up there too. She's, I think, a combination of all the queens. Being practical and methodical and nurturing and kind, intuitive, passionate. You know, birthing ideas and bringing them into the here and the now. She's the successful businesswoman. She's adored. She's admired. She's respected. Now this being in your recent past, Scorpio. Again, I think this is like a, a creative venture. Something you do want to nurture. And again, this could be a relationship that you feel so connected to, so intertwined with, that you want to make it better. You want to see it succeed. And Scorpio, I think that you are motivated, and I think that you're driven to see this succeed. Now, going into your future, Scorpio, you have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about nostalgia, fondly thinking about the past, perhaps when you were a kid, or if you have kids, when your kids were kids, but more so their great memories. Now, we're going into the future, looking into the past. Again, Scorpio, maybe this is something that you put on the back burner in the past. You know, and I get it. You know, life gets in the way. Do what you got to do. You work hard. Sustain yourself. But I think there's something that really makes you passionate. I think this is something that really, you know, you feel connected to and you want to nurture it. You want to see it come to fruition. Whether this is love, whether this is a career, you know, that maybe you always wanted to follow. But again, had to put it in the back burner. But something from the past in the future has got you fired up. It's got you motivated enough to, you know dive right into it. I mean, nose first. And create something. I think the whole thing here is creating something. Whether that's creating a 
better relationship or to creating, you know, a better job, you know, creating a business that's yours that you feel great about, however, whatever this is, it's got you wanting to succeed in it. Now, Scorpio, how people see you in your environment. You see it as a king of swords. Now, king, queen, don't matter. It's an energy. This is uh, the air signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties, such as yourself, Scorpio. This is somebody who's analytical. Their emotions are sitting in the back seat. <laughs> They're extremely intelligent. They're smart. You know, their facts, their figures, their percentages. This is somebody that usually has a high rank, like a lawyer, you know, attorney status, CEO status. But this is somebody who is very cut, dry, and to the point. Don't waste my time. Scorpio, people are seeing you like this. They're seeing you like you're not playing around. I don't think you are. Yeah, it's it's what just came into my head is like you're not taking no for an answer. Whoa, Scorpio. I knew you were fired up and wanted to move forward, but wow. This is like you know exactly what you want. You're not gonna settle for less. And you are not going to stop until you get this. Whether this is the relationship that you want. If you're already in a relationship, bringing that relationship back to where it should be. Or maybe where it used to be. Make no bones about this, Scorpio. You're very precise and direct and you're not playing. Period. Now, what is in your environment? Yeah, major kind of justice. Something being rectified, something being justified, something being made fair. Comic justice? Count on that one. But being in the upright, it's something that goes in your favor. So, Scorpio, if you have something in the judicial system, and you're not playing, this is going to go in your favor. You're going to put the hard work into this. But more so, you could be working really hard in creating something to make something right. Scorpio, maybe something in the past. Threw you off kilter. Maybe off your path. But it's like you want to make it right now. You want it to be fair. You want it to be justified. Vindicated. This came to my head. And you get drive and ambition for this. Because you're very clear, Scorpio, and what you want in your intentions. Now, in your hopes and fears, Scorpio, you get the three of wands. And this is somebody taking a course of action and waiting for their ships to come in. And you can clearly see his ship coming in. There'll be fears their ship coming in. It's a hope. It's a hope that Whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're putting your all into, whatever you're trying to move forward with, whatever you're trying to get justified, that brings us shipping. Absolutely. Scorpio, I don't think that all your hard work is going to go unnoticed. I don't think that all your love, passion, and desire for whatever you're trying to rectify, correct, make fair in a relationship 
any type of partnership, you will not fail. You will not fail. Because your outcome card, Scopes, is the Ace of Swords. The universe giving you this opportunity to see if you take it or not. This is the truth. This is clarity. It doesn't get any clearer than this, Scorpio. This is the sword of cutting things off that don't serve you anymore. You don't need them. If you don't need them, I think it's pretty clear that you get rid of them. This is the truth. Seeing things for how they really are. And by in your truth, something does get rectified, justified. It gets made fair. It's a card of balance. So Scorpio, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to succeed in and motivate, you're going to get it. Absolutely. Stay in your truth. Keep your eyes on the prize. And do everything cl with clarity. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.